Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Emily, the Petite Beauty Blogger, and in today's video I'll be doing a makeup look inspired by my mask. So this is a part two of my makeup and matching with my mask. If you haven't checked out the first one, then go ahead and do so. I'll put up the link here. And this one is going to be completely different as this is more pink and sparkly. So I did go off camera and I did do it first because I really didn't want to mess this one up. So I wanted to make sure it was perfect before I came and tried to do it for you guys. And as you can see, I just did a cut crease with glitter and a glitter liner with the black liner. And of course, I added some sparkly gems because you always need sparkly gems. So the first thing I did do is obviously I primed using my trusty P. Louise primer in zero. Today I'm going to be of course using my favourite Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palette by Beauty Bay and opening it. I'm only going to be using two shadows because that's all I feel like I need and it's going to be those two pink ones there. I'm going to take a nice large kind of blending brush and I'm just going to cover my entire lid with the lighter shade Milkshake. And now I'm going to go in with Morning Glory. And for that one, I'm going to be using the Spectrum A07 brush. And for Milkshake, I use Luxie 120. So for the pink, I'm going to be stamping it more on the ends here. Like that, and then I'm gonna blend it round. So, using that same brush before, I'm not gonna add anything to it because it's already got some excess product on it, and I'm just gonna use that to blend the edges out. Do you feel like they're blended? Don't worry about the edges at the moment. The most important thing is to get that pigment on. For the crease, I'm going in obviously with my Makeup Revolution Con and I'm going to use my Morphe R43 brush to carve out and make that cut crease. So I like to put a bit there, so I lift my eyelid and then where you see that line here is where I'm going to follow. So to fill in that crease, of course I'm going with my MAC Dazzle Shadow in Flash and Dash and if you've been watching my videos, you know I use this quite a lot, it's the perfect glitter as you can see and it's more expensive, I think it was £16.50 but I've got so much use out of it that it's entirely worth it for me. What I am going to do is I am going to use these MAC glitters and this is just a little glitter pot, now these are more, more expensive as well but I love the hollow graphic and I love the colour and you can tell the glitter is good quality because it's so finely milled. Now I've done the glitter, I'm going back in with that Morning Glory just to help blend it all back in together. For liner, I'm going in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama that's waterproof because I like the wand, I think that's what it's called, I'm not, I can't remember. It's just very sharp and you can create those sharp edges. So 
So what I'm going to do now is use this absolutely amazing detailing brush. This is the first time using it and I'm in love with it. A lot of the thin brushes, the bristles tend to splay out everywhere and this is so good. It's just thin and it's very pointed and detailed and this is, never heard of the brand before, Miss Cop and it says on it eyeliner and it's 13. I'm going to be using obviously my MAC Dazzle Shadow Flash and Dash and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a line of glitter above my black liner. Now I've completed the liner and everything, I am going to apply those gems and all I'm going to use for that is some lash glue. So the gems I am using today, I got this multi-pack of gems, I they may be for nail art um, or I'm not really sure what they're useful but I love them. You get 12 different shades and for today's look I'm going in with the little baby pink ones. So I did go camera and just do the other rest of the top like gems because they were being a nuisance and now I'm going to show you how I put on my bottom ones. In there, okay. Now I don't really want to wear lashes with the look so I am just going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And there we go, there is my eyes done, they are super sparkly and I'm obsessed if you know me, I love my sparkle. And now I'm going to move on to my lip. And here we go, here's the completed eye look with the mask and I try to recreate it as best I can. I hope I did alright for you guys, comment down below. And if you'd like to get the mask like this, I got one from Skinny Dip. I will link it in the description box down below. And yeah, pretty happy with that. So moving on to my lips. So for lips, I'll be going in with my with my personal made Mac lipstick kind of palette that I made myself. It took me a whole day to do, and it was a messiest job I've ever done because I just not very crafty and I didn't really know what to do so for my lips I am going to be going in with that shade there but I will be adding a bit of that just to brighten it and make it more neon like my eyes but I wanted it to be a bit more downplayed I was about to say a bit more simple and nude and but then why go simple and nude when you've got glitter all over your eyes so I'm going to move in and get started. So here are the lips. They are bright and pink and fabulous. Now what you can do is you can just leave it there and not carry on but for me that's never going to happen I am um, I've got to add extra sparkle so for the extra sparkle I'm going in with a Too Faced lip gloss and this is raising the roof now I've used this a lot but I love it and this with lip gloss and this lipstick is definitely not <laughs> mask safe because you'll get gloss everywhere but if you do want to know how to make your makeup last with a mask then I will put up a card right here and I hope you watch it
and there we go and there's the completed look inspired by my skinny dip mask And there's the completed look inspired by my skinny dip mask. I'll leave the link down below for these so you can get one for yourself. And as always, if you do want to have a go at trying to copy your mask, then as always, tag me on Instagram at Petite Beauty Blogger and I'll give it a look, I'll give it a like, I'll comment. I'd love to see it. And don't forget to like my pro Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash MUA by Emily and you can check out my website i will link it in the description box down below and as always if you could like comment and subscribe to help with the struggle that would be fabulous and i hope to see you in the next video bye